Hi guys, Stephen back from FIFA Solved and today we've got the best under 21 La Liga BBVA players for you. Uh, 21 and under, I said it was coming soon and it's finally here. Um, the year is tw May 2023, just show you that first like I always do. Same sort of routine, just like the uh, best under 21 Serie A video and best under 21 uh, BPL, Barclays Premier League. If you haven't seen them by the way, go check them out there on the channel or in this playlist that you're watching uh, best uh, young players on FIFA 15. First thing we want to say, um, if you could smash that like button, because these videos do take, um, you know, just over a week to do really, and um, you know, it only takes a second to like a video, so we'd really appreciate that, and uh, let's get straight into it. So, go to the squad report. So a few things to, to say here. First, oh, wow, Aris Balaga, um, Atletico Bilbao I got him from. Oh yeah, I chose Real Madrid by the way because, you know, it's either them or Barca. So they've got the money to originally buy these youngsters, so, and there's a few that's already in there. and So yeah, that's why I chose uh, Real Madrid. But yeah, he's from Atletico Bilbao, um, Aris Balaga, and he is brilliant. He starts, and I kid you not, from 68 overall. 68, 88, one more time. He's 28, I guarantee you he'll get it to 89. That's my prediction with him. Uh, didn't want to do any more seasons because the other players would start to go down and I wanted to show you their potential. One more 88, he would have gone up 20 times. 20 times, there's his stats. I'll show you here, it's more clearer. Um, goalkeeper reflex is 93, goalkeeper kicking 92. He's so good from... Uh, like kicking and, and goal uh, goal kicks and stuff. Goalkeeper position is 91. I like that stat positioning. It's all about you know your position uh, when the the striker's going to shoot and take the shot. Handling 82 and goalkeeper diving 86. He's brilliant. Um, I think he's the best keeper out of all, you know the, all the leagues we've done so far, Serie A and, and BPL. And the um, German Bundesliga is going to be next after this, by the way. I thought I'd just quickly mention that. There's one position, just like there always is. Um, there was on Serie A, I forget which position it was. It might have been centre-back. And BPL, there was a position. There is always one position, and it's right back for um, for this. And you might have seen straight away Carver Howe. He's not under 21. But I guarantee you, if you can find a better right back that actually does go up, We've got a right back, and we'll show you him. He, he, he's a little further down, and it's about the best young right back we found in the league. They're absolutely terrible in La Liga. You really won't find a right back. You might as well, if you are building a La Liga team, you might as well stick with Carvel because he's not bad for a right back. Speedster to get up the wing, crosser to cross it in. Tactician, so you know he's 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 up there with his head. And acrobat for acrobatic clearances. I mean, he's Carvel. You know about him anyway. So I'll move on. Ruben Vizo. Um, where is he? I've written down some at Valencia, that's it. Started at 72 overall. I've written down all their overalls for this video because I did do that for the BPL, but I didn't, I forgot to do it for the Serie A, so yeah, I've written down their original uh, overalls as well. And yeah, his rating was 72 Viso, so you know, he's gone up loads. And 29, I think he'll get up to 90. He's got tackling and tactician as uh, specials, he ain't got no traits. But the specials are good enough. I mean, 97 stand tackle, heading accuracy is 88, interceptions 94. It's got a bit of strength band, reactions, aggressions 89, sliding tackle 91, marking 91. He's really good, and he's the third centre back because these two are the next big ones. Rafael Varane, I'll I'll go for him very quickly because you'll know about him. He's already at Madrid. He's I think he's going to be really good and he's only going to get better. He gets complete defender. Aerial threat, tackling, tactician, complete defender. But he does on 13 and 14. No, I don't think he did on FIFA 13 actually. But he did on 14 because we had him in the video last year that's still on our channel. And he's just a tank. And he's 21 I think so he does fall into the category of um, best under 21s because we do 21 and under. The next one is even better than Varane. Uh, Laporte and you absolutely need to get him 91 overall he gets complete defender he's got the same thing aerial threat tackling tactician complete defender gonna traits don't need him there's his stats on the right marking 96 head and accuracy 96 interceptions 95 Stand tackle 96, sliding tackle 97, oh he's just got a lot I mean pause it if you need to look at the stats if I'm going too fast but 
what did he start at? 81 overall. So he's gone up 10 times, but he's at 91, guys. 91. And he came from Atletico Bilbao. So I highly recommend you buy him. Because I think that the La Liga, with these three, are the best... Is the best league for centre backs. These are the best centre backs we've had. I mean, I think Serie A was pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. I can't remember who the players were now. And we flipping done the video as well. But um, yeah, I always remember Flanagan and the BPL. He got up to 91 for a right back. But as for centre backs, definitely these. Oh, they're they're brilliant. Them three. Uh, Sal is it or Sial? Probably Sal. He started at 74. He's gone up 10 times. He's 84. He's got tackling and he's not bad for a CDM. It's what a defensive midfielder needs. But he's got a lot of high 90s there. Look, stand tackle 97, short pass 96, ball control 97, long pass 94, marking 90, sliding tackle 87. Um, he's starting to go down a little bit if you see up there. Interception's gone down once. But, you know, 29, he might start to go down. There's a few that have you know, might be going down as well this year, so we've 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 stopped at the right year really, I think. Uh did I say where he came from? Where is he CL? Bear with me. A Flatico Madrid, if you want to get him. Ruben Pardo. Uh he came from Real Sociedad. Uh, he only went up four times from seventy six. He's a disappointment, but he does get playmaker. So, you know, short passing's eighty nine and his vision's eighty eight. And uh, his long passing is 87, so that's why he got playmaker. His balance is 88. He's quite good on the pitch, quite smooth to play with. And, yeah, you know, he's not bad, but going up four times isn't good enough, really. Rafinha, FC Barcelona, obviously. Uh, I don't know if you'll know about him. Most of you probably will. He started at 78. He's gone up nine times. <clears throat> So, you know, he only got one distant shooter, which is weird. He's got finesse shot and flair, though, for the traits. So, you know, three of them technically, but he only acquired distant shooter for specialities. And um, dribbling 96, ball control 97. How he didn't get dribbling, I do not know. What it is it? It's balance 66. You've got to get your balance up. But I don't believe in that. If your dribbling's 96 and your ball control's 97, give the guy dribbling, you know what I mean? Long passing's 93, long shot's 97, that's how he got the distance shot, along with shot power 96. Um, short passing's 98, so he's a very, very good passer for a cam. Um, and with his vision at 80, he was unlucky not to get playmaker, really. Uh, I've said what club he was, haven't I? Yep. Uh, no, he's, I mean, his overall... Oh, I've got these all mixed up. I'll move on anyway. 78, yeah, I did. Right, uh, day I fell at... Deafeo, I used to be able to say that. Yeah, Deafeo. Um, he was disappointing, unfortunately. 79 up to 83, four times. He was brilliant for Everton on loan last season. I, I really rate this guy. I really do. Um, oh, he's already at Madrid. You know, speeds to dribbler, acrobat for specials. He's good. He's good on the pitch. Uh, he's worth getting. 83 isn't isn't poor. Um, it's entirely up to you, you know, you get him and, and try him out and see if you like him, but I, I think he does it on the pitch and I think he's good day for you, but I'm just disappointed he didn't go up more. Munier. Munier. Now this is the first choice striker, but this guy's also good as well. He's 87 overall. Um, but Munier's in there because he got complete forward. Clinical finisher, acrobat, dribbler, speed star. Um, he hasn't got any traits, I don't believe, no. But he just does it on the pitch, he's absolutely brilliant. Um, finishing is 96, dribbling is 93, penalties is 82. You know, he's got it all, he's, he's got acceleration 97, so he's got pace, he's got shot. He got the uh, clinical, uh, complete forward from clinical finisher, dribbling, speed star. He didn't need the acrobat, but that's just in there as an added bonus. But he does it better than that. Al Alcacer isn't isn't poor, and he's better overall. Yeah, he's 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 gone up six more times at 87. But you know he's got poacher. Um, pause it if you wanted to look at Manier's stats. So I've gone through most of them, and we ain't leaving out Ruben Garcia. I'll go to him in a minute. But yeah, these these two are the best strikers that I could find, and they're not half bad. I mean, complete forward. You don't. That's the best you can get. And he's 27, so I think he'll go up to about 83, 84. Easily, Munir. Um, he's not finished yet. 
Okay, so though, yeah, there's his stats. He's, he's half decent. He's unlucky just to get poacher, really. I, I don't know why he didn't get more. He's worth 32 million. And yeah, interest shown by Chelsea. Look. It's just crazy. Ruben Garcia, left mid, up to 87 overall. Oh, yeah, I better go through what they started at in their clubs. Munir was 66 overall to start with. I think he's 18 years old. I think that's what it is. He's, he's 18, and he's FC Barcelona. So, you know, come on, he's a young Barcelona forward. End of story. Um, and, that, you know, complete forward. Al Alcacer, Alcir, um, I don't really know how to pronounce this guy's name, but he started at 76, so he's gone up about 11 times. And he's from Valencia. Um, yeah, from 76, so he, he, don't, he don't, you know, he developed really well, in my opinion. Ruben Garcia, 74 overall he started at, so he's gone up quite a bit. And uh, he's from Levante. So uh, he really impressed me with how he developed. He, he stopped now at 29, and I think that he, that's you know his lot. That's his lot. He's he's not going to go up any more than that. But um, he got dribbler. <clears throat> Hasn't got any traits, but look at his stats all spread it out. I mean, great dribbler. 97 dribbling and ball control 98. He is really good. Long pass of 94, short pass of 94. He's an all rounder. Minayan, absolutely shockingly disappointing. I know that he started, uh, I even wrote him down, he was that disappointing. Um, psh, I, you know what, I don't even think I have. No, I haven't, he's just shocking. Oh, you'll have to look up his overall. I think it's 80 when he went up four times, it's terrible. Dribble and acrobat, not bad, I mean 84. But I just, there's a no he didn't go up more because he's a bit of a prospect in real life. And oh, I just didn't get why he didn't go up. I mean, look at this season, he's just stalled, he's just not gone up at all. And that was the story of his life, really, so I'll move on. But 84 is worth getting, I suppose. Uh, Lorente, disappointing. Didn't play him enough, though. Look, no appearances this season. Uh, make your own mind up about him. He might go up for you, might not, but he didn't really show up for me. This is the other right back that I told you where I had to play Carver Howell, because, I mean, what did Extra Berea start at? 63 overall, so he's gone up about nine times. Atletico Bilbao. But it's not good enough, is it? I mean, come on, alright. He, he ain't played this season. I simmed this last season, if I'm honest. Um, and I didn't play him the season before. But I did play him all the other seasons. I gave up by then, though. You know, by 2021, I gave up. But I knew he wouldn't go up. Anyway, I knew the right back was going to be a big problem in La Liga. Because there ain't any young, good right backs for some reason. It's just one of those things. And then there's wasn't any good. Uh, we'll move on, he's just shocking. Pause it if you want to see his stats. There you go. Uh, Mascarell was disappointing. Uh, didn't play him at all. I tried to loan him out quite a lot. Um, <clears throat> he's played five times in that league. But that's the computer that's played him. But nah, look, he's great. He's even going down. But he's 30. But he's, he's not good. Jesse Rodriguez. He's already at um, Real Madrid. Um, and what did he start at? Because uh, I, I, I think I was disappointed in him, in him as well. Um... Oh yeah, Jesse. Oh, I can't find you. I can't find you. I've written you down somewhere, but he hasn't gone up that much. And look at him, he's going down on some stats at the top there. Disappointing for such a prospect. Um, acrobat special, finish on flair, yeah. He does it on the pitch, but I just was disappointed he didn't go up more as well. And this just has that something, special something as well. It's just weird. Go ahead and didn't plan. Should have just released him before. He's not even worth commenting on really. Um, Christophero, I have written him down somewhere. I'm really losing my bearings where, where, where I've written him down. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, maybe the ones I didn't write down because they were disappointing. Tackling. But there are some at the bottom I've still got written down here that we're getting to that weren't disappointing. Uh, yeah, he's got tackling special. Um, He's starting to go down at 29, as you can see, but he, it's only on a couple of things, aggression and interceptions, but he's, he's gone up on a couple of other things as well. Mm, I don't know whether he, I recommend getting him. I, I personally wouldn't. If you want my honest opinion, no, I'd leave him. I'd leave him well alone. Abner, this is the second left back, and um, he's pretty good. I, I actually prefer him to the first choice, if that makes sense, because the first choice is 79. Um... Uh, Jose Gaia of Valencia, the one I showed you earlier, but this one got a special and he got tackling. 
which is good. You know, that's what you want in a left back. And he's, if you look at all his, his greens, they're all in the, the, the defensive kind of zone, you know, like stamina 86, bit of pace about him for a left back, stand tackle 88, mark an 85, slant tackle 87, and he's not bad. And what did he go up to? I've written him down 100%. Real Madrid he started at, uh, so he was at the club already, 57. 57 he started at overall, and he's gone up to 75, and he's still 26. I guarantee you this guy will get to about 80, 81. So, you know, that's not bad going at all. I definitely recommend getting Abner. Um, Jose Maria Jimenez. <sighs> he, uh, I don't even think I wrote him down. No, I didn't. No, I know for a fact I didn't because he was disappointing and I thought, what's the point? He didn't even get no specials or nothing. Uh, I, I wouldn't get him. The centre-back's all done, you know, I wouldn't get him. And there's another centre-back up there. I wouldn't get the three that I... There's the tanks, the three tanks that I showed you earlier. That's all you need for centre backs. Um, Horta, he was okay. Um, he didn't develop as much as well. That's why he's at the bottom. But I think he did. Yeah, I was pretty certain he, he got. He's got finesse shot as well. Yeah, but I knew he got a special dribbler. Um, he acquired that, and um, his, his stats are pretty spread it out in in nice way. Look, curve 84, and then he's got his shot power, passing stats, dribbling stats. He's not bad. <clears throat> and it's weird because um, he went up, uh, he started from 71 overall, water, so he's, he's gone up quite a bit, but see, he's gone up twice a season, he was going up just once per season, he comes from Malaga, by the way, if you want uh, water, and um, I, I better, I seriously better get on with this video now, because it's, it is going on a bit long, Mina started at 69 overall, he's from Celta Vigo, and he got poacher, he ain't got no traits, but... Yeah, just pause the stats. I do. Uh, I do like getting into this and talking. I don't know if you guys enjoy it or not. Um, let us know if I ramble on too much in the comments. Be interested to know. Um, there's Gaia. Oh, I thought I showed you him earlier. There he is. See, he's the first choice because he's 79. But I actually prefer 75 Adna because he's got the tackling special. But yeah, there's Gaia. Pause uh, the video if you want to see his stats. Uh, there they are. <coughs> the Thomas. I loaned him out a million times. He never went up there. No one. Who loaned him actually played him, it was funny, they didn't have any uh, faith in him either. Derek was abysmal, and he goes down in some seasons, so avoid him at all costs. Vieto, this is the most interesting player of the whole lot, because you wouldn't believe what his overall starts at, and it's not in a good way either. 74. Look at look what he is now. He's 80, and he's gone up three times this season. So let's take that three off. 77, 74 he starts at. So he went up three times in the matter of about 10 years, 10 seasons. And in this season, he just shoots up three times. Weird. It's just crazy. And uh, he must be a late peak. I've got a feeling he'll go up when he's 30, 31, you know. And because um, I'll show you... Look, I kept Ronaldo and Chris. I kept them on purpose to show you guys about the new thing that I told you about EA Sports have brought out this year, where then they're not retiring until they're in their forties. Cross, I maybe could have got rid of it because yeah, I couldn't use him in example, but Ronaldo, I kept him because he's 38, and I kept because I knew he wouldn't retire. Because what I'm trying to say is, don't worry about the 21-year-olds that we, we we use in these videos, because they're gonna go up and they're gonna they're not gonna retire until they're in their forties. This is what EA have brought out this year, because they said that, you know, the players were retiring too early in career mode. Like, you know, Van Persie were retiring the first season, and, and Lampard and Gerrard, and it was just stupid, they were gone forever then. So this is the good thing. Um, yeah, he was weird, Vieto. In Sua, no, Gomez going down at 28, he was, oh, he annoyed me. Uh, Oblak's the second keeper. Uh, what was his overall? 77. He's only gone up a few times. That ain't right. He can't be 77. He's, he has gone up a few more times than that. I might have got that wrong, guys. That's the only player I would recommend you check. If you're going to check him, check him. Because that's the only one I might have... I might have had to put 1 instead of 7. 71 instead of... But I've put 77. He's gone up twice this season. But he's from Atletico Madrid and he's a second keeper. And 81 is not bad. There's his goalkeeping stats. Who else have we got? Oh, I kept Bao because he's 33. Just to show that he hasn't retired yet as well. DePaul, no. Nah. Gill's interesting because he goes, he, he has gone down, then he's gone back up, then he's gone back down, then he's gone back up. His peak is 81 and he stays there. It's weird. So that's all the uh, 
the players guys so I'm gonna go and play a half just 45 minutes on four minutes so it's gonna be really quick I always do this just to show you the players um, I think I've done the squad see the good thing about Laporte the complete defender ah oh, it's this new it is this new thing that they've done I mean, they've changed the controls this is it yeah the, um, is he plays left back as well look send it back and left back so you, I can play him as left back I want to show you the three tanks that's why I'm playing him at left back really he plays there but you know oh my days come on FIFA but really you know we're playing there f for today carve out the tanking goal I love this keeper Sal, Rafinha, Pardo, Garcia the complete forward menu I love and Deo Feo um, let's get straight into it Legendary, four minutes, or oh, burn a bow as well, that's nice. At home, so yeah. One second, guys, bear with me. Alright, let's get into this, spike this nice and quick. Bang, bang, bang. Come on. Hello and welcome to La Liga. I don't know whether we'll see him play today, he's on the bench, but he's... Uh Perhaps just phasing himself out of the professional game. Retirement has been the talk. Yeah, I'm sure he wouldn't take that decision lightly. I mean, he's had a really good career that he can look back on with a great deal of pride. But this team is coming towards the end. Got to be. There's still a chance. Oh, the keeper's save. made a save already. Oh, come on, Garcia. The opposition back off. They could be in trouble. And the ball gets to here. Oh. Played into the middle. Oh my days, it's a goal already. What a goal. Raf yeah, Rafinha. I think so. I won't look at the goal, I'll just press it nice and quick. I've got a lot better at FIFA. Uh, I remember the, when I'd done the BPL game and... Um, I said I'm getting used to it, uh, you know, legendary mode, it's nothing with these players, it really isn't, and you guys will be able to... Again, oh, what a save, that's point blank! Oh, it's point blank that save, absolutely amazing. It's this Manier speedster, look at him. Oh, he's so amazing. Oh, nearly. Yeah, I know what you're doing, boy. <coughs> yeah, it'd be so easy with these tanks. It's, it's not legendary, really, is it? Players like this. He saved it again. Yeah. Oh. I should have pressed to bring the old keeper out already. They're trying it on, aren't they? Got to be. Off the post. Ah, nothing. Oh, he's hacked him. Unbelievable. Yeah. A lot of newspaper inches devoted to this particular manager. Oh, and lucky. The Temptation of uh, an international Come on. job, but we understand that he's turned that down. Yeah, well, maybe he's got a oh, what a flick! That was lovely. He could tell you that. Um, I thought he was offside, but the job for him, never mind. Clearly, uh, whether that's going to be the case in the future. Uh, no, Tanks at the back are going to win them headers all day long. Further their ambitions, don't they? And if he, if he does get the job that he likes, I think he'll probably take it in the future. And he's going on beyond the slide. Oh, didn't realise. Yeah, it's blindingly obvious you're going there. And then up. Riyad and then up. Boots. And then down. And then you tackle. Oh. To the wing Magnet. Man. Goes back to his feet. Come on, Carvajal. Show what you're made of. The has been picked out perfectly. Got to take these chances. I think it's Celta Vigo I'm playing, isn't it? Oh, nice and short. Well done. Is it sour? This could he needs be to pass a very it. good contest, Alan, because obviously the, oh. uh, the team that are visiting today won the reverse match, so 
Come on, boy, I want to get you on the ball. Uh, he ran like a psychopath then to try and stop the complete forward. Come on, let's get you a goal. Oh, not you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a save. Absolutely incredible save. Oh, oh, that's very well. And the Porte. Oh, his goal. keeper's a tank. It's about as good as stops. my keeper. <laughs> Go on, that's yours all day long. Oh, lovely. Complete forward. Oh, what a half a yard he got. Oh, just, just off target. Oh, he's like, uh, he reminds me, he looks a bit like Neymar, don't you think? I think he looks a bit like Neymar, like, you know. Hey, there's the back heel. Oh, unlucky. Positioning and the interception is made. Oh, come on. I'm going to win this. Oh, uh. Nice. Nice. And that was a very well time So guys, there we go. That's um let's get out of this, this well, is definitely icebreaker, isn't it, for a team to score. Proper loud in the old um ears. So uh yeah, that's the best under twenty one uh La Liga video guys. Uh, as I said, if you could Lovely. like the video, because it does take Another a while. Nil. Um, and uh, the next video will be doing the German Bundesliga. Valencia and two. Eredivisie will be doing the French one. League after that. Sevilla, uh, so, yeah. two. We'll see Real you Madrid, guys. Nil. Celta de Vigo, three.